Watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to pour purple in first, and I'm going to pour purple in first. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna make a nice path of pink, and a nice path of pink. Now go back and do purple. You are going to do the same thing, pour in a nice layer of green. Right. Now go back over with blue. Be heavy handed with it because that's what's going to make the color impression. You're going to put approximately one quarter. Yeah, go ahead. Just use it all up? Uh huh. You should only have three passes, four passes max of each color at the very most. Go ahead and use a heavy hand. I try to split it in like three increments. I have this stuff for Saturday. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. Remember, you're not trying to make swirls. You want a wide swath of color. You don't want to make swirls with this. Oh. What you're trying to do is make bands of color. When you slice it, the band shows up layer as layer color. When, if you want to swirl, you can do this too, but you need to have all your colors and pour them kind of simultaneously. Oh. We're doing layering right now. Yes, right? you're doing layering. Is it necessary we scrape? scrape? It's soap. Okay. I wouldn't waste it. What I try to do is I had try to have this come out of the pots in one wide swath with enough height to push down the lower layer of soap. Good. These look pretty I don't though. Even know uh, grab another one. Uh, pounce. I wouldn't. I'd leave it alone. It's up to you, though. You want to pounce it and even it out? And it's up to you. I want to pounce that one. <laughs> I was hoping you had enough green to finish off that one a little bit. 